Hello there. Welcome to the beginning of season 23. Quite a lot of seasons. Gonna play Marcus. Oh, already disconnected once. That's good. That's a good start. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna be an artisan cage match. All right, I forgot to uh, forgot the whatever it is. So here, there's I guess it is masterpiece feed them. <clears throat> so I guess the open. I mean, I don't think I don't think anything else uh, is gonna compete with that. Um, so I guess I'll just open Squire masterpiece. Um, go for there. I, I don't really see anything else being competitive with that. But I could be wrong. Uh, there's just not nothing nothing else terribly exciting on the board. I mean there's there are some engine-y things you can build certainly with Miser, Squire, and Watchtower. <coughs> I don't hardly think that's going to compete though. I think it just is a little slow. Um, definitely not the quickest thing ever. So I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna come to play. Uh, well, this, uh, This isn't so great. Now, I don't know if I want an artisan. Um, he found the... He found the one card in the deck that uh, does literally nothing for the magpie. So I, <clears throat> here I'm wondering if the artisan is good for picking up Fiatums, I guess is what I'm, what I'm imagining I would use it for. Um, so I'm, I am gonna try it. I think the rest, I think just one, and the rest I think I'll be masterpieces. Um, so he presumably is going for this as well, but just wanting to do the magpies to get bigger masterpieces is what I'm assuming is the, the, the deal here. So I'm going to go ahead and artist and a feed him and top deck the squire and I guess buy <coughs> another squire. I mean it could be like a lighthouse, but probably just another squire, I guess. It's the thing to do. Um I'm not sure if the magpies will pay off in that respect or not. Maybe they will. I haven't had any really huge masterpieces yet, but still doing okay, I guess. And I mean, eventually the magpies will be good for uh, for some things. I'm gonna take a feedum with the five.
That's a nice masterpiece. I guess I'm just hoping to get in. At least one good masterpiece here. Uh, I definitely have the Theatum split, but I don't have much in the way of silvers, which is not great. He's definitely better doing doing better there, and that's thanks in part to the magpies. Uh, I wish I knew how many silvers everybody had. That would be nice. Okay, well, let's hope he doesn't have money this time. And I can get my big masterpiece here finally. Uh, otherwise... I may be in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble. He'll be able to buy provinces. I guess not that much trouble, right? The piles are empty and I'm way ahead. I didn't really think about piles. That's gonna help. He has to do like duchy. He can't even buy Fiat. Yeah, I, I didn't. I wasn't thinking about piles, though. Like, obviously, I'm in a good shape here now because I'm going to be able to end it in a couple turns, and there's no way he'll score enough points. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, I mean he had all the silvers, none of the phenom. Interesting. I wasn't really like, that wasn't like some master plan, it just uh, worked out that way. Okay, so he's first now. But it was nice, I did get some artisan use which is always what you want on your cage match I know we're both M I'm just gonna in this scoreboard those listening in discord can't see this anyway we're just gonna use M for me and something else for him we'll see <laughs> what it is um, we got the two six gainers alter and artisan <coughs> Not not sure what the story here is. No villages, which makes stuff hard. You can gain. You can gain. Um, you can do golds. You can also just gain a lot of action cards. There's about thirty cantrips, and then. You know, you can, once you fill those up, you can have just some extra terminals, so that's fine. So there's a lot of points for Vineyard. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I believe in doing something with the, I, I don't believe in a gold flood, though you may get a gold or two. I'm not sure on the opening though. Stewardess should be nice, but I guess I'm not sure what to pair it with, but I can think about that in a second. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> a gold's all right. Not that I get one, but. He didn't get to react, so that's good. 
I didn't get to react either. Maybe next time. Nope. Well, depends on what we draw here, but nope. Uh, I'm going to keep buying these though because I don't think at this point the silver does much for me. Getting a minion is really great. I would have loved to trash more copper or more estates, but that's all right. So he is in pretty good shape now. Probably can get a five here, I assume. Well, it depends if he trashes or not. I get a good trash here though yeah I mean I, I agree with that I think somehow I need to buy a minion At which point the or an artisan. If I have six, I'll buy an artisan. What did he do? He's still gaining golds. Yeah, I'm not sure about the that many. It's probably okay. Uh, I guess I don't really want to shuffle, so I'll buy an artisan. Get minion here. Yeah, that's all right. This turn we'll buy a minion or something. I mean, I guess with the three golds, you may have ten here, which is pretty nice. Probably ten. I mean, if he gets to his steward. Not if he trashes, but... Yeah, so that's good. That's really good. He can go artisan minion. Or devil minion, whatever you want. Both are fine, really. Um... I don't know what this gives me. Okay, so Maybe he can afford three minions. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, this is trouble now, isn't it? Hmm. I guess I can buy a potion now. I'm not really in love with that, but... He should just be winning here. His deck's so much better. This He can clear out the minions here, so I got like two of them. So with that, he can just 
I mean, he can beat me on whatever VP he wants. He could probably beat me on duchies. He probably if I he probably didn't have the two coppers in hand, but if he did, I would have trashed. I assume he didn't. Seems like a safe assumption. Whew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this is just there's nothing. Completely toast here. That was actually a nice steward draw. <laughs> That's quite a on a hand. I don't know if he'll want to do as many sentries as possible or some provinces. Probably just as many sentries as possible. Triple sentry should be pretty safe. It'll up his vineyards again. Yeah, I mean, you can do more potions. That's fine, too. I think the province is probably, obviously, or maybe it's not obvious, but it, it should be. It doesn't matter what he does as long as it's pretty reasonable. Um, but I don't know if I like the province. I'm getting minioned into these treasure hands a lot. I don't have minions to rescue me, so that's not... It's not that weird. It's no good, but it's not weird. <clears throat> yeah, I really, especially now with this points lead, the provinces don't make a lot of sense. You just get sentries, I'd assume. At least that's what I'd do. Neither, I mean, it's again, it's like choosing uh, between two guaranteed paths to victory. It's not a, yeah, like the vineyard load or the potion load up. I mean, sure, you can do it if you want, but <clears throat> I don't, I don't really like it, but it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to write him like this on my scoreboard. So, whoops, so Arson was not doing much there. I think he could have taken one and it been pretty good. Mine didn't really pan out, but um, I think his 11 hand would have been, I mean, the double minion was good too. I mean, it wasn't like his thing was bad and maybe it was even better. I don't know. But I think he could have used the artisan or made use of it. Whereas I just, it was not doing hardly anything for me. But that's just because my deck was hardly doing anything, period. We get another minion game. This time with 
urchin trashing. Uh, but there's Prince, so you can. It's sort of a village. It's not a very good village. There's no buy. Um, so I don't know. You know, you're going to want to get minions again, so. Don't think merchant's very good. I'll even get a third urchin or a fourth urchin here. It's fine with me. Hope he doesn't collide his. Uh, I don't like fool's gold at all. So I hope he keeps going for them. He did collide before the shuffle, so that sucks. Um, I'm probably going to be able to get maybe two mercs. Yeah. So that part doesn't suck. Uh, one silver maybe here. I guess if I have a silver, then I can buy merchants without feeling too silly. I don't know if my last card is hit an estate or what it is but I want to cycle uh yeah I really hope he keeps going for the fool's golds this is no good hopefully you draw one estate I'm not gonna get a third nope so these were pretty okay that was a real good draw though to get to the five He has four. I didn't know he had that many fool's golds. I haven't been watching him very closely. Four fool's golds already. Okay. Maybe it works out with the trashing. It's still not my favorite thing. Hope my next shuffle has better trashing luck. He gets an artisan, fine. Uh, I still don't really get the fool's golds, but what do I know? He doesn't have that, I mean, he's gonna line it up, of course, but he doesn't really have that many targets for the prince, but he'll he'll line it up, I'm sure. Um, he has some urchins. Hmm, <laughs> well, I hope, okay, so he didn't trash. I guess he knows he's got a prince, so that that is one trick to making it work. I guess I could have minion attacked him, and then uh, then I would have uh, stopped that, but I didn't, so. If wishes were horses, you know what beggars would do. Can't find my silver, so this turns garbage. A garbage turn. Um. Because he's going to just move on into the provinces. This again will be pretty much garbage. Turn. Because I just can't. I mean this is, this is not like 
I've been wronged or anything. This is just a function of how I've built the deck, where if I don't find the silver, the money's going to be a little short. It's okay. I mean, it's not a huge deal. It sucks that he got to have that he had time to do the prints while I was doing effectively nothing, but that's okay. Boy golly, one of these turns I'm gonna play a silver in. It'll be worth all the points. For all the money, not worth any points. But he's a lot of fool's gold now. I'm gonna attack him here, unless I draw the silver. I still am going to attack him, um, since these are pretty much all cantrips. Anyways, I'll get back to the silver. So, okay. This silver is going to be worth a metric ton of points. Isn't that special? It is special. Okay, so now it's just a uh, kind of a points race, more or less. I could get a prince first. It's really a question of how fast will his deck green, which I assume it'll just be humming right along, no problem, would be my guess. Since he's trashed most of his coppers and all of his all of his estates, but one, he's got so many fools golds. Well, we hope he he chokes on some on some turns at least, though it doesn't seem doesn't seem particularly likely. He's already going for the duchy, which I assume means he has eight in hand already. Um, he does. I didn't really think through that whole problem there as if I <clears throat> I should have tossed both minions. I shouldn't have taken any money from the minion was what the misplay there was. Well I assume he already has the... No, he just has some things he's willing to trash. Okay. That probably gets him there. It's really killer that... He got that prince that he had time to... I don't know if it was draws or... Super stupid play by me. Um, Cause I really don't love what he did. Though the artisan to get the fool's golds is pretty nice actually.
Yeah. We can resign this one. Obviously, the fool's goals were okay, or good enough. I mean, they beat me, beat what, beat up what I did. So, feels like maybe bad trashing luck, but could be bad choices also. Certainly, I was a little tunneled in on buying merchants when I could have bought a second silver. <laughs> somewhere in there probably would have helped immensely so I was just focusing on those merchants yeah that that's probably a good a good thing to have done another silver then I wouldn't have had such awful times getting to five or at least I would have had much better I ended up with like a million merchants if I had had, you know, one less than a million and one more silver, I would have been hitting five considerably more often. Uh, so here, I don't, I don't know. This is one of those boards where it's like, it's hard to put something together. You could do tactician tunnel. That's not terrible. Um, that gives you the key points and labyrinth points so that seems reasonable I guess do you pair it with the rat catcher or with the amulet maybe is the question yeah so I think I do like Tactician Tunnel play. Getting that first Tactician, I guess, comes from a madman, probably. It would be good to be a little thin here. See what he pairs it with. Yeah, he gets the amulet. I mean, it's good if they don't collide. I'll try it. Here I will get a rat catcher. He's getting madman already. Um Okay, that's pretty nice. I think I'll actually go ahead and take the tactician. Since I have five here. He gets a rat catcher. That seems pretty pretty good. Here I'll trash copper with the amulet. And then uh, trash the estate and gain a tunnel, I think. And then I guess the question is whether I want another rat catcher or madman. Hmm, he's getting another amulet. Get another madman. I think I'll take the rat catcher. Pretty sad that I didn't find my tactician, that it went bottom deck, but that's life. Also, the rat catcher did it too. Hmm. 
I'm not sure what he's going to do. I'll get another tunnel here. Probably a madman. Though maybe, maybe another tunnel. I don't know. He's going for the deck draw already. That seems well, I don't know what he's what it's gonna allow him to do, so maybe it's really good, but and it lets him play two amulets, I guess. You could have gained I mean you could have had that silver in hand. Maybe he still has a rat catcher. No, he doesn't. So yeah, you could have had that could have had that amulet or that silver in hand, though maybe it didn't didn't particularly do him any good, maybe, to have it. He's getting an artisan. Uh which is fine. So I think Maybe Madman here. Hmm. On my f Probably win the keep points for silvers. I'm not sure what he's going for, to be honest. So now he gets that. Let's try and find some tunnels. Well, that didn't work, but. Uh. What's better to play? I'm not going to have... I, I guess I left three tunnels on the bottom cards. That's pretty funny. Um, that's pretty unlucky, but... I mean, I could get another tunnel. And... No, that's stupid. We gotta get a second tactician. I probably won't even make it to a second tactician on my tack turn. Jeez. All right. That's really bad luck. The bottom deck three tunnels. That's awful. That's crazy. I don't have three tunnels, so that's a lie. Whatever I was complaining about. It's still no good. When did he get a tactician? Oh, he artisan for one. That makes sense. Okay, uh, let's play the tactician first. All right. Yeah, I, I'm just complaining about nothing, <laughs> basically. Uh, well, I will be pretty clean. And hopefully, lucky. Nope. Not that. want to draw one tunnel. 
That's all I want. You gonna buy a couple tunnels here? That would be reasonable, I think. So whatever we've done, it's been really slow. I guess he wants to play the tunnel. Hey, that's weird. How do you how do you get tunnels in a hand with your tactician? That doesn't seem like a thing you can do. That's weird. Doesn't seem right to me. You do it again. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. No. Okay. We. All right. Now we're in. Probably not business, but we're in something. So. Do, 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 do. Look, I'm going to take the keep away. Look at that, the power of the keep. It might be nice to have an expand. You could expand for a province and then still play your tactician. Would be pretty good, probably. Though, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep piling up some golds, I think. Till I can, like, double province on a tactician turn, maybe. He's got that silver stuff going for him. He's just provincing. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, I didn't know I had a madman. Hmm. That could come in handy one of these turns. Yeah, I didn't think about that last turn. Yeah, it could be... Could be a pretty good thing. I don't know how many silvers he has. Just one? No, no, he has more. Okay. Uh, let's do the tactician. I'm not sure I want the amulet. And this is not a very good turn to play the tactician, particularly. Could trash the silver. Uh, could just get money. Silvers are pretty okay. I mean, I have to buy something eventually. So.
obviously we didn't want to draw the tactician there. Artisan would have been nice to control that a little bit. Um, it's interesting. I don't know what I'm going to buy. I could just buy a silver. If that puts me close to the keep thing. I'd like to at least sort of be threatening the keep silver points. It's going to be... I mean, I'm either going to be really happy with my draws next shuffle or really sad. Because the sequences can be really good or really awful. And maybe there are some middle grounds as well, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's not too scary. Okay. All right. So I can actually take the silver keep away from him with this buy. This is okay. This so far this shuffle is not the worst thing ever. Um We really would like to get a tactician in here somewhere. Of course. Mainly, I'll have to watch out for the, by the copper. I really don't know where we're sitting on the copper stuff at all. I guess he just took the coppers away from me but he didn't get it himself, so he has one more copper. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. The scoring makes sense, I don't know. If whatever play makes sense. But, um, so now ideal here is to get to the... I could give up on the coppers, I guess. Ideal here is to get to tack and expand in these 12 cards and then do one province and play expand for some golds. Maybe not for very many golds though, just a couple or less potentially. You don't feel great here. His artisan is going to be at least a duchy's worth of points. I don't think we're up to, uh, we're, no one's going to have 16, but potentially the artisan can swing silvers as well, so that's a little bit of a pain. Yeah. That's really bad, actually. He doesn't, I could kill the amulet. Yeah, I'm looking, well, at least I can, I guess I can get five points there. Yeah, if he, that's going to sink me. Him finding the tactician there is going to totally put me out here. Oh, wait, but I have this madman. That's right. Hooray for the madman. Okay, so we can draw a lot of cards. Um... So what do I got? I get two buys. What is uh probably still not enough. Well I can get a point from a five points from a copper, twelve points. I can tie. That sucks that I didn't find. I 
Unless there's another way. I don't think there is. I had to find the amulet, right? And then I could have gained a silver and that would have been a five pointer as well. Man, that sucks. Uh, He'll have province. It's not. I don't get another turn. Uh, if there were a way to end it, and I could do like treasure swings, then maybe that would be worth it. But. Uh, so I think there is a tie, but I had to find the amulet for the win. I'm not even 100% sure that this is a win or a tie or whatever. Um, but it's not like I get another turn, so... That stinks. I don't know if I had enough silvers to be to tie him there. Not really sure. I don't know if I played a rat catcher at the start of that turn. That maybe was a mistake. I think I needed all the gains.
Uh, so all the stuff is here. Could open plan into something, I guess. Um, so the issue with doing the potential issue with doing black market is that they can shorten the game with salt the earth if they have a quick way to pick up provinces. I don't, I don't really see a quick way to pick up provinces, but so, so that doesn't look so scary. Um, to me. Not sure what it would be anyway. Shoot. I do think you can buy a plan at some point here and get some mileage out of it. Question is, can you get mileage out of it right at the start? Like, is it worth it to open plan black market? You know you'll trash a couple cards. Um... But it's not maybe the best trasher ever. I don't know. I hope he does it. It will be an experiment. I don't play with plan quite as much as I probably should. Band is a nice, nice opening to get here. Uh, I will take ours then, unless there's villages, in which case I'll take the villages. So, which village though? I think the native. I mean, there's no buy on the board, but that's all right. We won't. There's black market. That's basically buy. So, do, 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 do. I think I like advisors actually pretty soon. Nice draw from me. Here, I'll trash and get Haven. Should update the scoreboard. He won again, and then we tied. So so far, it's going well for him. What did he get? Black market. Okay. Uh, my second black market. Did his band miss? No, he played as a steward, okay. Band is really good here. Like, really, really good. I'm not sure about the amulet. I will buy a band. Unless he lets me have the black market, which would be pretty weird. Pretty strange. But he's really giving it a good think. Mystery solved. Uh, 
I would love to get an artisan. Good, he didn't get anything good. Those are all three pretty bad here. Like the grave robber, you know, any extra gaining can be okay, but it's not better than, yeah, it's not better than something like a noble's. Uh, so here, question of trashing or we gotta get thin. Always let's prioritize the thinning. We could have taken an artisan, of course, but I imagine we'll have the goods to deal with that in a little bit. So trash. Um, you know, let's pick up. Aw. So, interesting, would have loved to get the border village the next reveal. All three of these are pretty good though, probably not the smithy, um, let's go in for the shanty town. Oh, boo. Wish I had saved it. I would rather have a scheme than any of these things, so. All right, well, that was a little disappointing the way that turned out, but it's not like you could know what, what you're going to see. So. At least I didn't flip uh, goons on the next set. The tactician's about as nice. <clears throat> I feel like I'm thinner than him, but I don't... Maybe not. He should probably get the fortress. Definitely happy to get the... Act, um, get the shanty town anyway, so... And he's going to get the wharf, okay. Well, he doesn't really have the villages to support that, but, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. I don't want any of these. Got an amulet in here, and then not sure what else. None of those are any good, really. So I hope he buys the sea hag. He gets another nobles. I assume I'm gonna lose the haven here, or the amulet, I mean. Oh no, he let me keep the amulet, okay. Well, that was nice. Oh, that was a good native village. So do I wanna give myself coins to give myself a shot at sixes? Or do I wanna wait and see if I need to trash or not? Okay, this is fine. So, probably got to be the governor. I mean, you could do ambassador. But I think probably at this point we're clean enough that they can handle it. Now the question is whether... 
that's worth it to get a silver. I'm afraid my amulet here is not gonna I mean the nice thing about the silver is I can I can governor it into something. The bad thing about the silver is I have to draw it and stuff, but I think it's okay. Ooh, we get to scheme something. So I suppose I'll scheme the advisor. All right, we do get to hit a copper. That's nice. Let's get rid of the band. I got Artisan sitting in here. It's a nice wharf. The nobles are expensive necropolises, probably for him mostly, but that's still okay. Maybe would have been worth at least considering um, the possibility of. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I literally have no idea what I was going to say. Oh, playing the band as a steward or something. <clears throat> Which this turn I think I ought to do. I'm going to go look and see what's in the black market first. Um, see if there's something nice. Yeah. So we could get the amount of bank. That's a lot of junking. Which probably makes it worth it. Um, so now we can get, I guess, one of these cards. Or we can get all of them even rather not well yeah we can't get all of them though we have to draw them a card to do it so I don't know if that's worth it or not can start the silver flood Feels like I want to get my native village is really lucky. Um, do you need to trash these coppers next turn? Probably. Maybe worthwhile just to draw with governor and be okay with drawing him a little bit of cards. Maybe he'll be able to stay clean against the mountebank. I want to get a catapult as well. So maybe I artisan for that. I don't have to artisan for it. I can artisan for a band. Um, 
play it as a catapult. Which looks like what I'll probably do here. Those are, none of those are amazing. The hunting party's good. I'd be pretty glad to get a secret passage because I can, uh, um, I don't know what else he has that's good. I guess he's going to draw everything regardless, right? Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe that helps him set up his turn, beats me. That's okay. Ooh, this could turn ugly fast. <clears throat> turn to pretty ugly fast. Not fully ugly, but... But fairly ugly. Well, I'm pretty much done drawing this turn. That didn't pan out. Rays I don't really want. Okay. Well, that didn't that didn't go as well. as I would have liked. I still feel pretty good. This turn hopefully we'll get through everything and do some attacking Really need to get a nobles though. Quarry is pretty nice. Which I guess he's going to be able to draw it <coughs> one way or the other. gonna catapult me again no okay Well, now I wish I had uh, played that a little differently.
My native village set asides have been super good. Totally perfect. I could go for another trash actually. That might be better. I was going to play the black market, but probably getting clean first is better. And get a noble. I guess we didn't get around to the scheme. Pretty jealous of the quarry. I would be pretty jealous of the relic and the butcher. Hopefully this turn we can play the artisan as well. But I would rather attack him to be honest. Alright, we're going to get through most of the deck here this time. Maybe not all of it, but most of it. Okay. Put an art or put a band on the mat, that's okay. Alright. This seems like a pretty good turn. Yes, it does. can buy a villa get a nice villa buy that's pretty cool I mean 
it gives you a lot of actions this turn. Hopefully, it doesn't have any no more nobles in hand, but. I mean, I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep doing the catapult mountebank thing every single turn. I'm not going to stop on that. So, this turn I will probably pick up the mat. So, I shouldn't lose this one unless I botch it and miss a three pile or something. He's not going to be able to stop me from getting through the, the deck here. And then I'll draw the last card with Scheme or Haven or whatever it is. I just have to save one band for the uh, um, for the catapulting, which there's one on the mat, so not really a problem. Discards Haven, okay. Now, how to play this turn will be a little bit. A little bit complicated, I think. The shanty's probably not going to be anything but a necro. Though maybe there's a way to make it better than that. I'm not sure. So. Let's get the mat. I could curse him and kill the uh, kill the hand. Oh man, I won't be able to buy anything else with my other black market turn, but I gotta get the city quarter. So, I can haven the city quarter. be pretty good hmm. no treasures I would like to be able to buy a buy nobles, I think. Oh, I should have done that differently. I was counting all this stuff up wrong. He didn't have a whole bunch of like extra gains, right? There's not a big risk here. 
So this turn we might be able to we might be able to use the governor for remodeling. But just to be on the safe side. Well, he's got a lot of coppers in hand. He does have a buy from Villa, which I don't have any buy yet. I do have gains with Artisan. It would hurt a little bit to have the advisors go away because I'm heavier on the band of misfits than he is. Uh, the bands, then I'd be playing them as schemes, I guess, mostly. Maybe some havens. So, yeah, emptying the advisors would probably hurt me quite a bit. Although I could empty the advisors, I guess. In which case I would be hurting my bands, but I'd be fixing the problem of not having advisors, I guess. So. He's just drawing his deck, but it's going to be mostly junk, right? I've given him Copper and Curse for the past four or five turns, and well, three turns, I guess, and he hasn't been able to trash, I don't think. He did trash once last time. Did he get to trash at the start here? I guess not. I'm not sure. Okay, so he's going to empty the advisors, which I, th I agree with. I don't think it's going to be enough to stop me, since I can still draw a billion cards with City Quarter and Governor and stuff. Um, and I definitely have... other useful things to do with my deck, so... I'm not I'm not particularly worried about that. Obviously, I'd rather be um, I'd rather be using it in different fashion, but it's pretty okay still. I have more nobles, so I can do those for things. Make sure we get another scheme in there at least to... Okay. I did play... I just played one advisor, okay. So the shanty's never gonna fail to do that. He can keep a curse in hand, I guess, if he wants. Did he get his wharf down on his last turn?
he has the advisors now. Um, I probably will want to score a decent amount of points here if I can. Since... Yeah, so that's fine. Hmm. The groundskeeper is pretty nice. I'm going to kill these last coppers here. The market square is also nice, though it's not quite as nice. There should be three cards in here now. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Set an advisor aside. Let's see what else is in the black market. Ooh, bridge. Bridge and haunted woods are nice. If he can't trash curses, he's got to. I only really have. Well, I want to play. I really would like to play three more turns. Let's get the bridge and just set it aside and not play it this turn. Does that make any sense? I don't want to leave a, an out for him to win. And he, he's got the villa. Does he have any other gains? He doesn't have any other gains. And he has one black market. So I think this is all right. He has a butcher. That's what I forgot was butcher. It's still not enough games. Yeah, so he he made his bands unable to function as well. So we're just fine. I don't know if I can win on my turn, but I can get pretty close.
can get very close. If I save the governor for remodeling, that would make it a little easier. But I think I'm just going to beef up the city corner. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to be able to do this every turn. It's not like it's not like he's going to come back from this. Oh, he disconnected. All right, so we get one more for all the marbles. That mountain bank was pretty nice. There's no villages. <laughs> this is our second Fiatum game. That's so funny. How does that even happen? There's nothing else. I don't think besides Trader Feedem. Maybe I'm wrong. What else would you do? I mean, you might buy some of these other cards, but in service to the Fiatum, I think. Trader Fiatum is not as good as Masterpiece Fiatum, though, but. So I guess if you weren't going to do it, you would go like, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not seeing it. He's doing the Overlord already. I thought he might. I don't know. I'm not convinced. Uh, I'm thinking about an armory, actually. To win the Fiatum split a little bit, possibly. So now he's stuck. He's just, I guess he's just trading posting stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good, to be fair. I almost forgot about the arena again. Like, this is not such an impressive. My trading isn't. Uh, Winning any awards, I guess, is the uh, way I would put it. I'm actually going to buy goons here. Chair Feedum is a little worse with the... Uh, With the uh, whatever they're called. Shelters. His trading post may let him really have a good time here, though. Go ship, I don't care about too much. That's pretty cute that he got to pay enough of his debt off there. He shouldn't have any actions. This will be a fiatum, I guess. 
Oh, he had his necro. I forgot about that. Well, he won those. He won that split for whatever it's worth. Uh, is a copper worth a point yet? Probably not. I wish I had another trader. I'm not really sure the armory was anything but awful, but it was an experiment. I do think the goons will probably be okay. Ooh, he may be able to double here. That'll be... It's a little problematic. So I don't know how that split went. He might have gotten five of those. This is where it started. He got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that that's a thing. Um, now he only has four of them. I kind of think duchies will be all right. Ooh, he got a province. That's pretty scary. What is this nonsense? That's baloney. Where's the goons? Uh, shoot. I don't think an estate helps. There's the goons. He's got the overlords. Flexibility is nice. So I'm pretty disappointed in the armory on the whole. It didn't really inspire me. The artisan I'm not really feeling. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. There's nothing good to armory besides the silver. Can't, can't hit a province. That's not surprising. He probably has province. I'm assuming. Nope. Okay. That's all right. It's not good, but it's all right. There's a province. That'll help a little bit. Where's the goons? Come on. Oh, 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 oh yuck. Gross. Okay. Uh, 
shoot. Man, <clears throat> like we'd have to, the goons miss a shuffle, that, that's killer. I would have had to, yeah, he can end it. So I would have really needed to find the goons with the province hand to get into it, though it wouldn't have actually been enough. Shoot. I guess I can commit suicide here. Maybe he has four curses that's still like that's not enough <laughs> right I guess I won't uh, resign but the uh, ah, uh, oh well okay I don't know what the story is on all those. Maybe the Overlord's really good. I don't think my armory was probably worth it. Um. So, anyway. Hopefully, those weren't really very good artisan boards, by and large. We didn't have power fives that were non-terminal. But but some maybe some uh, different approaches were used. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and uh, there should be more matches for this league coming up shortly. See you all later.